to go to work and it takes every ounce of willpower I had to keep from <laughs> doing my job in front of the dragon. A suicide demon. Three times she would have jumped in the river, but her boss caught her. Stand right there in line. God's going to set you free tonight. Here's another little woman waiting to be delivered. You hear voices. Not, I don't hear them. Out they of talk you. out of me. They you know? talk out of you. Yeah, around, get around my ear. Well, do you hear them talking? When I rebuke it, I hear something it talk. Talks. I rebuke it myself out of me. You rebuke it, but it yeah. talks right out of you. It just groans out of me. Uh -huh. But it still gets so around God's going to set you free tonight. Yeah. Here's another woman. We're going to pray for you in just a moment. You hear things, too. Yes, I do. Tormenting voices about food, especially when I'm in a service. It tells me that I'm always always hungry. I should eat, and I don't feel hungry. And it distracts me. I, I want to go on with God, and I'm not able to. And this morning, as I was to the service this morning, I felt like my head was being sawed off. I couldn't even meditate on, on, on Brother Doug, Douglas, what he had to say. These things are tormenting you. Yes. You hear the voices, and the voices are tormenting you. Yes. You want to get rid of the voices? Yes, I Tonight? Yes. You're going to get rid of them. Here's a woman. For me to even kick you when you went by. Uh -huh. well, why don't you so go ahead and kick me? Because I won't. I, I can't. They want me to do things, and I won't. All my life they wanted me to do things. You say these things say nobody can cast them out? They always tell me that, and since I heard the record in Philly, what I've they had say? the rest. They, they won't come they out? They say, no one, you've been here, you've been there. And they say, why go? They try to make me stay. And my friend came this morning. And you hear him I didn't even know I was coming. I said, I'm not dressed. He says, come on. So I know it must have been this. And you hear him talk? <laughs> Oh, yeah, and they make me talk. I'm just talking, and I used to be the opposite. The doctor says it's shock. I had five deaths in a year and a half. My only son with cancer six uh -huh. months after. Before that, I was happy. I was a singer. I was, oh, I was a bass shot, as they all said. Now I'm nothing, and my daughter and everybody's again. I have a very well-to-do brother. He's a big shot, even a big cathedral. The on the inside but the devil's there, and they say, out. nobody, when I go home, I'm crying. And I say, what is it when I'm in church? You can ask Dan. And I sit with my hands folded. I can't sing. I can't nothing. Now I'm singing on the bus and everything when I'm alone. And they overtake me. And, oh, how many times I want to end everything. You no attempted to commit suicide? Many times. They're coming out tonight, not oh, when they show the God, devil. They got He's it, a liar. No, I don't How many believe the devil's a liar? Do you believe they've got to come out? Well, get ready. We're going to start praying. Preachers, all of you on the beginning of the line, lay your hands on each other right up here to the middle. Amen. Lay your hands on each other. Brother Ewing, you come out over here in the middle. Brother Ewing's got a big tent, and he's, he's quite a minister in this kind of work. Yes. And uh, God has given him some great victories. All of you on this side, put your hand on Brother Ewing. And all of you put your hand on each other and put your hand on him, and he's going to put his hand on me. That way he's going to transfer all your power right down to me. Do you believe in transferred power? I dare say that in this line tonight, you are with your own ears going to hear demon spirits declare they will not come out. Here's a little woman in a pitiful condition. She has some terrible things that she declares to be infirm spirits on the inside. She hears things walking in her room at night. And it's driving her crazy. You say it's driven you almost blind? That's right. You can see some, though. I can see some. But everything looks blurry without my glasses on. And what is this thing that jumps on the bed at night? A uh, cat. A, a real cat? Well, it looks like a real cat, but I don't think it's a real cat. I think it must be some spirit. You say they jump on the bed at night? Yes. They have bodies like cats, but they're not cats. They're yes. no really cats no, there. No, it's no real cats. Uh -huh, but they have voices and they talk. Yes. Now, this is what makes me know it's not cats. They talk. They shake the bed at night, you say, and they shake you and they get hold of you. That's right. They have tails. Yes. Now listen, this woman is not insane. 
This woman is not insane. But unless she gets free, she soon will be. I believe that thousands of people in psychiatric wards, psychopathic wards, hear me, in insane asylums have been driven there to the devil by demon spirits whose duty it is to torment people. How many believe it? Remember the staff Phoenician woman said, my daughter is grievously vexed, tormented with a demon. Is that right? Thousands of people in psychiatric wards today are there for this very reason. They didn't know how to get free. And the foul demons drove them to insanity. This woman says, it's driving me crazy. They jump on her bed at night. They look like cats. They have long tails. How many suspicions it could be demon spirits? Do you believe demon spirits could be seen that have bodies? In the seventh chapter of John, the apostle John, read Revelation, that I saw three unclean demons or spirits. He told us exactly how they looked and described them. Amen? Do you believe that I can pray and these things will quit tormenting you? Yes, I do. I'm going to ask God to drive them away and put a wall around you. And you're going to feel something leave you tonight. You're going to get free in your spirit. You're not going to have this oppression. God's going to set you free. You. Father, I lay my hands on this woman. In the name of Jesus and full faith of Calvary's victory. You foul devil to torment her in the name of Jesus. Cursed be your foul force. Command in Jesus' name. Loose her. God's doing it right now. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done right now. Everybody put your hands up and say amen. 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 Thank you. Is it done? I feel fine. I you, feel all right. Thank you. Feel all right? You. Yes, I just, do. Just, just, Thank you, Jesus. Just what did you Thank feel? Thank you, Jesus. I don't Just some of the weight just fell right off of me. I don't know. Thank you, Jesus. The weight fell off. Thank you. Thank you. Start rejoicing. Thank you. Can you all say amen? Yeah. God will do the same thing for you if you believe him. All you have to do is just say, Lord, I believe it now. Here's a little woman coming up the ramp. She's got her foot bandaged up. This is the lady that we cast the demon out of last night. You know why she can't walk? This woman cut her foot on glass in the Allegheny River trying to commit suicide the other day. But tonight she's free. Is this your daughter, Usher? That's one of the Usher's daughter. That's your mother behind. God bless you. How did you cut your foot in the Allegheny River? Yes, sir. I you was drank. trying to commit suicide? I drank and I'd lose my mind. I couldn't think about the things I had done. And right now, he don't want me to say it, but I'm going to say it if it takes me all night. He said for me to jump into the river, the world was coming to an end, and I could be his. And I believe that. I was just so insane with alcohol. I drank night and day, night and day. And I once had the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a sign. I'm a holy. I'm a high. Oh, glory to God. God saved her and delivered her last night. The devil's come out of her and filled her with the Holy Ghost. Look at that foot of hers. All cut to pieces and bandaged. Cut it. Trying to commit suicide in the Allegheny River. Jumped in. And there was glass there. This is evidence. And what did that demon tell you? If you jump in the river, you'd be his forever? Did you ever hear such a thing? The devil knew if he could get this woman to commit suicide, she would be his forever. But Jesus got the victory. Here's a Christian man and there's a Christian woman that was praying for their girl. They were praying for that girl. And God somehow got her out of the river and she didn't drown and she climbed out of the bank. God brought her here last night and the foul suicide devil and the demon of alcoholism, the devil of lust came out of her and tonight she's free, saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. Look here. The devil said if you'd just jump in the river and drown, you'd be his forever. Yes. That's what he said. He just had me believe in everything. I thought I was losing my mind. And when I started to come here yesterday, I had drank a pint and a half of whiskey. And I once had the Holy Ghost and lost it, listening to the devil, letting him lie to me. 